We expect a huge increase, especially when the weather starts getting colder. As overnight temperatures begin to dip into the 40s and 50s, local homeless shelters and resource centers are preparing for their facilities to be packed during the fall and winter months. Living out on the street is tough, especially when temperatures turn frigid. And according to 2018 data collected by inhomelessness.org, 1,185 people in the upstate are homeless on any given day. And that number has dramatically increased since the start of the pandemic, especially the number of families that come in requesting help. A lot lost their jobs due to COVID, unemployment was cut off, now we're going to see power bills, you know, they're going to cut off power, so we're seeing a lot of families needing shelter. Those that didn't need shelter before, that have never been in this situation, but COVID has definitely, you know, caused a huge crisis. And when temperatures dip below the 40s, many who are unsheltered are seeking a warm place to stay. Many housing crisis organizations are placing families who need shelter into local hotels. But without a COVID-19 vaccine, social distancing guidelines, and flu concerns, some are offering free resources to those who may not have access. The shelter program is only for families because it's limited. Um, but with COVID-19, we have expanded it to also deal with singles, those that are on the street, those without children. The Spartanburg Soup Kitchen is offering free flu shots with blankets and other essentials to help those in need. We're going to do on October the 13th, we will have the flu shots and the hepatitis A shots for anyone that need a free vaccination. We're going to be giving out blankets and socks. We're going to have cups with maybe a little bit of sweetness in it, some candy, just something to encourage them to take those shots, particularly if you are out there in the elements. For additional resources and ways you can help, make sure you head over to our website at WSPA.com. Reporting in Spartanburg, Kristen Cheatham, 7 News.